Ruben on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a software called EasyOS Mobile Unlock in order to bypass the activation on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. This program allows you to do a lot of things, including to reset the screen passcode if you forgot it, to remove your Apple ID from the device if you forgot it, bypass the activation, manage the passwords that you stored on your keychain on the device, and even unlock the screen time passcode if you forgot it or you set it accidentally. The program is available here on mobile.easyOS.com and there is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. It supports multiple devices, some of the features are even compatible with the latest iOS 16 devices. So I'm interested today in the bypass activation lock over here. This one supports older devices compatible with the Checkmate jailbreak. And as you can see right now we have a device in here. It's connected to my computer and I'm screen casting its screen over here. So you can see we have the activation screen. This happens a lot if you made a fake Apple account just to get the applications. You didn't know that it will be bound to the device and once you reset it, you are stuck. This can also happen, of course, if you bought the device secondhand from Craigslist or Kijiji or something. And of course, you realized after that, that the device is indeed locked. Now, please don't use this program for any nefarious reasons. This is only intended for your own device for which you forgot your Apple ID and password, or if you got the device legitimately and you got scammed. So right now the device is locked in here. You can see it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPod touch, but once we try to do it, it's not possible. So to fix that, we go here to bypass activation and we we press start. Now it's important to keep in mind that you will not be able to place any phone calls or send messages using the SIM card on this device after the bypass. The bypass breaks the SIM card functionality so you'll not be able to use that. You can log in with an Apple ID to get applications from the App Store though, that's okay, but you will not be able to place calls. I'm gonna go with I agree in here and we just have to press start jailbreak. Remember that this uses the checkmate jailbreak in the background, so you're gonna have to follow the checkmate instructions over here. I'm gonna go with options here and allow on this iOS and then of course I'm gonna go skip A11 BPR check, go back in here, press start, press next and now the device will enter recovery mode. From here you just have to follow the instructions on the check rain jailbreak. So now we have to put the device in DFU mode. I'm gonna follow the instructions in there. Alright so as you can see it says device entered recovery mode, it's booting and everything seems to be okay in here. We're gonna wait for it to boot. It does boot in check rain. You will see an Apple logo, the check rain logo and some text on the screen. Do not touch the device, do not do anything with it, just let it boot normal and I'm gonna wait for it to complete in here. It says booting. All right, it says all done in here. I'm gonna press done again in here and close check rain. So we're still on the hello screen. We're still here on the uh, setup screen, but now we can press start again in here. And now we press next in here and it detected our device. We can close check rain now. We no longer need check rain. And as you can see, it says jailbroken. I'm gonna press bypass now and that's it. So we're gonna wait for it to be bypassed. It's gonna take a while. It says bypassing activation lock. So uh, just wait a couple of seconds for this to complete and then okay we have unlock successful and if I go ahead in here and reconnect the device to the computer as you can see now the device is fully usable so there you have it you can see the applications being available over here and we're also jailbroken at the same time with check rain because we installed check rain as well with this occasion so now if you want to jailbreak fully and you want CDI you just press install CDI in there and you will be fully jailbroken as well you will be able to install themes and tweaks and stuff like that but the device is fully usable aside from the fact that you're not able to use a sim card that's unfortunately one of the limitations now another limitation of this is that you have to do this entire procedure every time you reboot the phone so do not reboot the phone if you reboot it you're gonna have to go back into the program you're gonna have to do the check rain part again and stuff like that but for now as you can see the device is usable we're also able to connect to Wi-Fi and stuff like that and use the device as intended so yeah that's basically it that's all you needed to do the program is available here on EasyOS the bypass function works on iOS 14 and lower it doesn't work on iOS 15 and 16 for the moment but the unlock Apple ID the reset for the passcode stuff like that those work fine on newer devices the activation one only works on iphone 10 and lower and only works on ios 14.x and lower so, yep thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out